are going to discuss about the topic simplex method still those who are not subscribe our welcome genius channel please make subscription for more videos there are two cases in simplex method one is maximization case problems another one is minimization pr case problems today we see the maximization case problem let me see the problem maximize z equal to 5x1 plus 7x2 subject to constraints x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4 3x1 plus 8x2 less than or equal to 24 10x1 plus 7x2 less than or equal to 35 x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to 0 let me see the solution first you have to change the inequality constraints into equality constraints in order to make the given problem into standard linear programming problem okay so for this you have to add the slack variables because in our problem the conditions are in the less than or equal to type so if it is less than or equal to type conditions then you have to add the slack variables if it is greater than or equal to condition then you have to add the negative surplus variable so today we have the less than or equal to type constraints then you have to add the slack variables there are three conditions then you have to add three slack variables s1 s2 s3 to the respective conditions after adding the slack variables, the condition becomes x1 plus x2 s1 equal to 4, 3x1 plus 8x2 plus s2 equal to 24, 10x1 plus 7x2 plus s3 equal to 35. Now we have to write the given problem in standard linear programming problem. That is maximize. Z is, is our given objective function. So we have to write the objective function with the ideal that is slack variables are the ideal resources okay so for that only we have to add the zero for the coefficients of s1 s2 s3 so let me see the step one in the step one we construct the initial simplex table and we repeat the same table till the optimality achieved so first you have to write the basic variables as it is in the standard maximization objective function so in, the, in our problem, we have x1, x2, s1, s2, s3 and for the x1, we have the coefficient 5 and for x2, we have the coefficient 7 and for s1, s2, s3, we have 0 okay, as a coefficient. We have three conditions and the conditions are ending with the slack variables. In this basic variable, you have to write the ending variables of the conditions. Okay, This is the slack variable 1, slack variable 2 and slack variable 3. You have to write the coefficients of the slack variable. After writing this, you have to write the condition 1. Okay. So, the condition 1 is x1, x2 plus s1 plus 0, s2 plus 0, s3 equal to solution 4. And the second constraint and third constraint. So, after writing these things, you have to find the zj value. In order to find the zj value, you have to multiply the coefficient of slack variable into x1 and coefficient of s2 with x1 and coefficient of s3 with x1 and adding all these you got the zj value okay this in the initial table the zj value is 0 because the coefficient of s1 s2 s3 all are 0 so we got zj is 0 after finding zj value you have to find zj minus cj value in order to find the zj minus cj value we have to subtract the cj value from the zj value so 0 minus 5 is minus 5 we got minus 5 and 0 minus 7 we got minus 7 0 minus 0 0 0 0 so and then you have to find the most negative value in from the zj minus cj column okay after finding the entering variable we have to select the most negative value from the zj minus cj column so here minus 7 is our most negative value so we have to choose this column now this this value is our entering variable so, so after finding this finding the ratio we have to we have to so divide the solution column with the, this column value. Okay, this is a pivot column. So you have to divide the solution column with this pivot column element. So 4 by 1, we got 4. So this is our ratio. In order to finding the ratio, we have to divide the solution column with the pivot column element. So 4 by 1, we got 4. 24 by 8, we got 3. And 35 by 7, we got 5. Okay, after finding the ratio, from this ratio values, we have to choose the minimum positive value. Okay. So, in order to finding the leaving variable, here 3 is our minimum positive value. So, we have to choose this row as our pivot row. So, we have to choose this row and S2 is our leaving variable. Okay. Once again, I repeat the steps. In order to choose the entering variable, we have to select the most negative value from the Zj minus Cj column. We have, after choosing that, we have to choose the 
pivot column and then you have to find the ratio for that we have to divide the solution el column elements with the pivot column element so here 4 4 by 1 get 4 and 24 divided by 8 equal to 3 35 divided by 7 equal to 5 after finding the ratio, ratio we have to find the leaving variable so for that we have to select the minimum positive value from this ratio column okay so here 3 is our minimum positive value so we have to select this okay, this row and here s2 is our leaving variable okay so x2 is our entering variable and s2 is our leaving variable and here 8 is our pivot element okay so here x2 is our entering variable and s2 is leaving variable and this is the key element or pivot element okay in the next video we see the step 2 thanks for watching Thank you.